Today we're gonna make the painkiller. Stay tuned because it's gonna be awesome and kill your pain. That's all you need to know. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. We're making for you. Uh, what are we making? Pooster's painkiller. Oh yeah, the Pooster's painkiller with a little TM trademark. Yeah. Yep. You want to say something? You look like you were ready to go. Originally invented in the uh, Soggy Dollar Bar in Yas Van Dyke in the British Virgin Islands. British Virgin Island drink. You can still buy this down there. They're very well known for it. They serve it in little plastic glasses. And the Soggy Dollar Bar is soggy because there's no dock. Yes, and people pull up to the ca to the island beach on their catamarans in groups and they jump off so all their money gets soggy. So, soggy so you dollars. just hand your soggy money out, just like you yep. do at the beach, uh, at, the, at the pool bar. Lot, lots of catamarans. Cat. So a lot of the like all the locals in like St. Thomas who bartend, they'll get together and they'll go in on like catamaran rental for the day, and they'll take a catamaran from St. Thomas over and just hang out at Yasmin and Dyke, and, and get served drinks. And get served drinks as bartenders. That's yeah. not that's the way you want. It's not do very it. novel. Yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, the drink recipe for this is two ounces of Pooster's Navy Strength Rum. I think this was called. I kind of yeah. ad libbed here. Uh, yeah, Pooster's Rum or Pusser's Rum or Pusser's Rum. I don't know. Somebody correct me down below so I don't look like an idiot. I tried to search. My volume's not working, so I couldn't do the pronunciation key to try and be tricky. My bad. Uh, so two ounces, two ounces of that rum, four ounces of pineapple juice, one ounce of orange juice, one ounce of cream of coconut, and a generous nutmeg garnish. We're going to grind it ourselves. Yeah, generously. I'm generously grinding. Uh, there's history. That was me grinding. Danny Morris is our executive producer, by the way. This drink is built by just taking everything, throwing it into a shaker, and shaking it like a lot because it's got cream of coconut in it. Yeah. Boy, so, this world says pussers. 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 Yeah. So I was I right. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Hey, thanks. That's what I did here. <laughs> I don't really know what I did here. Um, so the one of the key components of this is out of all the drinks that exist outside of the dark and stormy and like maybe one other one. This is a trademark cocktail, meaning you can't make this, you can't put this on a menu. I shouldn't be able to do this on the show if I don't do it with that rum. They could sue me over that. I'm not a big fan of being sued, so I'm going to use their product. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, funny enough, it was created in around 1971. It didn't use Puster's rum. It uses a blend of other rums, and then I guess Puster's came along and said, this cocktail's awesome. They trademarked it 10 years later, and that's the big argument. Jay at 15 seconds. 15 seconds. That way I can digest all those words. There you go. Give you a chance to repeat them. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, so Jeff Beachbum Barry is the one who said that all that stuff about the, the rebranding. So they rebranded it. Anybody who argues it, I guess, could say, well, this was a prior prior art. I don't even know if that's a thing. Don't you want, do we don't uh, ice? Do we do ice in this? Bill and shaker, shake 15 seconds, straight into an old fashioned glass. With ice! Okay. Um, there was, I, I did see a story. Oh, and one thing, one little thing of irony I thought would be neat because I had found this is that uh, Puster's Rum did a tweet saying, use Puster's Rum in your next uh, Darkest Stormy. The irony there being you can't do that. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be able to get away with it. Well, how do they spell Dark and Stormy? Was there yeah, if there's not an apostrophe and or whatever, you, you can get around it. You can just use the word and yep. to, to kind of get around that. Um, there was a, uh, a painkiller bar, I think, in New York that had a painkiller on their menu that wasn't using this. They found that some other rum worked better. They liked the taste profile better. They did that. These guys found out. Bar had to rename themselves and kind of shut down for a bit and whatever. And the backlash from like people just being like, this is bullshit. Like, it's a recipe, get over it. But it's what drives the sales of this product. So you can't make an argument, I guess. Right. So you can't. You just won't win. And it costs these guys a lot of money to enforce, to enforce yeah. this. Just like Coke. No, that comes over the border from Mexico. Well, it costs them a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, just buy it. Yeah. that make it right? <laughs> it's got rum and coconut and stuff in it. It's like yep, it's perfect. It's, yeah. it's like it. yeah. a it's sweet. It's, it's basically a delicious pina colada. It's like a pina colada that has more rum to it. Like mm -hmm. a pina colada, like the trick to pina colada is people blend it, mm -hmm. so it dilutes. Like you can't taste anything really except for coconut. Right. This you get coconut and rum coming through. The rum yeah. comes through. Boom! Yeah. It's right. Oh, it's a great drink. It doesn't burn. But you get that, you get a sweet rum 
Yeah. Aftertaste. But, but be careful because you have enough of these and you're gonna die. Yes. Yeah, we have mine earlier, so. And I have a coffee. You could drink them super fast. <laughs> like super fast drinking, lots of two ounces per drink. Three of these drinks are going to be lying on the floor it if you're a normal human. It adds up really fast, especially drinking them in the sun. Yeah, always drink them in the sun, or is that not a good thing? Well, when you do, the, the combination of the alcohol and the sugar is rough. Yeah, top that off for you. Well, I spilled some. But that's okay. We'll just make more. Hey, wanna? I need a. I need a, We we need to fold another corner of this twenty dollar donation. We have. You can go to patreoncom cmc if you'd like to donate to the show, or you can go to everydaydrinkerscom tip if you want to just leave a one-time donation. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I like how you like to not encourage me by <laughs> not making sounds. I, I, I was. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> that was my. That was my goat. <laughs> Actually, they they would sound more like Meh, like a human. Yeah. The goats are weird. Human goat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to look up. Oh, you need to question <laughs> the day. Oh, have you seen a? Have you ever had a chance to see a fainting goat? Yes. Dude, it's hilarious. They are hilarious. They just fall over. They, if you scream, they fall over dead with their legs hanging up in the air. <laughs> it's a self-defense mechanism. Up. Yeah. It's it's hilarious. Can I go ahead and make another one of these? Yeah, for sure. Can I go ahead and make another one of these? Yeah, probably. Um, that's not really a good question of the day because everybody should answer yes to that or you should go find yourself a fainting goat, Google it, YouTube it, whatever you're on YouTube, just do that. Um, so a good question today. What's your favorite beach style cocktail? These recipes, by the way, are all being... What? Uh, I've seen a girl dressed up in a goat costume. That's a different part of the internet. That's the wrong part, man. Go to recipe.awesomedrinks.com you could we be able to get this recipe and at least 120 other recipes because I've been like freaking cranking them in as fast as I can. I made a database. It's got data in it, and it's all about getting more data. Sounds like it. it's on the right track. So I'm trying to build a database that has tons of cool stuff in it, and it's all curated by me. And I decide what's good and what's bad. In most cases, what I do is I go back to old videos. I listen to what we say. Sometimes they could be 11 minutes in before I find it, but I listen to what we say, and then I say, okay, that's that's a good drink and I post it out there and then if it's like this we hadn't made it in a long time I didn't have a good photo for it mm. I'm making these photos like put them on there and then link this video over to it there you go. so you'll be able to find all those at recipe.awesomedrinks.com um, that's it I think I think we're good yeah, I don't remember if I actually Is asked the question yeah favorite beach cocktail sidebar more videos down below awesomedrinks.com you can use coupon code um, well I'm gonna stop that Use coupon code, uh, uh, fuck, it already came up. It's like, um, I, it's something. It's, it's there. It's not written on the board. Why did so. I fucking write? There's a coupon code. We're teaching you how to drink. 